Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to increase the FPS on your PC games whether you're playing a game like Battlefield, CSGO, or Minecraft. Uh, so before we get started, I just want to say be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I'm on the way to 9,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, let's get on with the video. So if you're curious as to how many frames per second classify as good or not, I've got a chart on the top left of the screen. 30 or less uh, for your FPS classifies as bad or in times as even unplayable. 30 to 60 is honestly fairly good, I used to play on that when I used to play on my laptop back in the day. And then 60 or more is honestly excellent. I myself get up in the hundreds which allows me to play almost any game at high settings. So essentially in this video I'll be aiming to help you get from the good range to, I mean if you're in the good range help you get to the excellent range and if you're in the bad range help you get into the good range or maybe even the excellent range, I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to do my best to do that. So um, essentially FPS is determined by two things, your RAM and your GPU or your, grip, or your video card. So I'm going to start out with the RAM and then move on to the video cards. If you're unsure of how much RAM your computer has, here's how to figure it out. So the first thing that you want to do is actually go ahead and open up your file explorer. It's probably going to show you something like this. And then what you want to do is right click on where it says this PC. In cases it might say my computer or something like that. And then go ahead and click on properties. Once you click on properties it's going to say under the system like tab it's going to say installed memory or RAM. And it's going to tell you how much it is. In my case I have 8 gigabytes. I plan to upgrade it to 16, gig 16 gigabytes in the upcoming months. But if you have uh, 4 gigabytes or less and are truly trying to PC game, I highly recommend upgrading your RAM because what you have right now is probably not going to cut it. So certain, certain computers can only have a certain amount of RAM due to motherboard limitations. RAM comes in many different types and due to that I recommend going to crucial.com and I'll have a link in the description and then downloading this system scanner. I've used this multiple times back in the day when I was uneducated on the topic of PC hardware and stuff like that, but I still wanted to upgrade my PC. And RAM upgrades are honestly one of the most basic upgrades you can do to your PC and require little to no effort in my opinion. So essentially you'll just download the scanner and it will show you what type of RAM is compatible with your PC and how much your PC can actually be upgraded to. Then you can go ahead and order it. Honestly, it's you're probably not going to break the stick of RAM or anything like that. They're pretty sturdy and I doubt you're going to mess up in any way whatsoever. So um, another thing that I want to talk about is that RAM controls the processes in your computer. So if you right click on your taskbar and then go to task manager. Uh, you're going to see all these random things. There's a chance you're not going to see all of them, so you have to click on more details like that. And where it says memory, that's actually your RAM. So Google Chrome is known to eat up a lot, and so is programs like Razer Cortex and stuff like that. But essentially, you can uh, either go click on these one by one and then click on end task, or you can download a program, which I'm going to have linked in the description, like a program uh, called Razer Cortex. And it's going to allow you to do the same thing, but essentially within one click. So essentially what you would do from here is just go through and select the uh, things that you don't want running when you're playing so that you can have a higher performing uh, gaming experience if that makes sense. So you can go ahead and pick what you don't want. Um, if you p pick on Chrome then it's going to literally select everything. If you pick Chrome it's probably going to be pretty good for you because you don't really need to be browsing in the background of your gameplay. So from there all you have to do is click on the boost now button. Uh, you can either have it on custom or recommended. I highly recommend putting it on recommended if you're a basic user and don't really know what you might be accidentally cancelling, which is using up your memory. So definitely go with recommended. If you know what you're doing, go ahead and proceed with custom. But from there, all you would do is click on boost now and you could go into your game and you're probably going to see a significant difference in your FPS count. From here, I'm going to teach you guys how to adjust your PC so that it can perform, perform at its fullest. So what you're going to do is open up your file explorer one more time, right click on this PC or my computer in, your, in maybe your case, click on advanced system settings on the left, make sure you're under the advanced tab and then click on settings for the performance tab right here. And you're going to uh, be opened or greeted with this dialog kind of thing, or like this page that was the wrong word to say, but essentially you're either going to be checked on custom or let Windows choose what's best for my computer. So if you don't have that well of a computer, or if it's older or whatever, I highly recommend changing it to adjust for best performance, then clicking apply. It might make your windows look a bit different, but honestly it's the exact same thing, just the appearance is going to look different. If it honestly bothers you that much, then go ahead and change it back, but if you're fine with it, it's going to improve your PC performance a lot, so I highly recommend keeping it. 
but in my case I have a pretty good PC so I'm just gonna cancel out of that and all that good stuff so um one more thing I want to teach you guys is going down here and then going to type in percent temp uh, percent and once you click on enter you're gonna see a bunch of these right here so um, from here, uh, I'm just going to go a bit more into detail, but, but these are all temporary files and deleting these is actually a necessity. I recommend doing it at least like every other week. And uh, so basically these temporary files are created at the time they're being used and then they're, they're never used again. And this can significantly, significantly speed up your PC performance along with, uh, in some cases, clean up tons of space on your hard drive. So what you want to do is click on Control A on your keyboard and then click on the delete key. And you're going to see, you're going to need to provide administrative access, so go ahead and do that, click on continue. And uh, as you can see, it just cleared up 3 gigabytes of space. If you get an error kind of like this, just click on do this for all current items and click on skip. So essentially that error means that these uh, files are still being used at the time, so you're not actually able to do anything with them. But uh, essentially, you cleared out all the big ones and then these ones can stay, you can delete them at some random time next time you restart your PC or anything like that. Alright, so once you're done with actually deleting them all from the percent temp percent folder, you want to open up your recycling bin and then go. you're going to see all the things that you basically just deleted. So what you want to do from here is just go ahead and click on the empty recycling bin folder and click on yes. Go ahead and click continue for all that good stuff and then you're going to see a bunch of things disappear and you should be set from there. So lastly for this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys to make sure that your GPU drivers or your video card drivers are up to date. I'm going to be covering both AMD and NVIDIA in this video. So to see what kind of GPU you have, just go down here and then type in a device manager and click on enter and then uh, click the drop down on display adapters and you're going to see what GPU you have. So there's either probably going to be an AMD card or an NVIDIA card. So from here, once you actually know what GPU you have, go open up the description and I'm going to have either the NVIDIA page or the uh, AMD page in the description below. So from here, if you're on AMD, uh, it's actually pretty simple if you're on AMD, all you have to do is scroll down until you find your graphics card series and then click on your operating system and whatnot. And the same thing basically applies for Nvidia, you just pick your GPU product type, product series which is mine is the 900, and if you remember I had the 960, I'm on Windows 10 64 bit and all that good stuff. And then from there I'd click on search and then download, agree and download and then click on that, or click save. And honestly it's basically kind of like a plug and play type of deal. Once you're finished installing, you're probably going to have to restart your computer, but once your drivers are updated and all that good stuff, you should be set to go. Now, um, I might have said that was the last thing that I'm going to show you guys, but I have one more thing that I want to show you guys, and that's called CC Cleaner. I made a video about this in the past, so I'll have that link below too if you're interested at all. It's basically how to increase the performance of your PC, but essentially what you want to do is click on Analyze. Uh, CC Cleaner basically helps you get rid of some um, temporary files and stuff like that that internet browsers and things like that are using. So as you can see, I just, click, just clicked on analyze and you can see a bunch of like things that I've literally never even used, never even used the Microsoft Edge browser or even the uh, system temporary files and stuff like that. So basically just run your cleaner. Uh, these processes will permanently delete the files off your computer. You're good to go. Just click on OK. It's going to run through and that's really it for the video guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not ready. Because I'm on my way to 9,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. But other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. If you have any problems whatsoever, be sure to comment them down below and I'll be sure to do my best to help you guys out. But other than that, that's really it. See you guys next time. Peace.